Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at creating geometry. What we're going to focus on now is creating geometry using incremental coordinate input. So to begin with, why don't we get rid of this floating circle up here at x0, y0, z1 inch. Now remember, to delete something within 1CNC, you need to select it first. There's a couple ways you can select geometry. One technique is to come up here and select this first option. This is your single entity selection tool or you can simply hit the letter S on the keyboard like Sierra that puts you in select mode and it's also like clicking this first button here I'm gonna left hand click on that circle and then just hit the delete key on the keyboard to wipe that out to make things more interesting why don't we change the color of the geometry that we're about ready to create I'm gonna come down to the leftmost color palette this is the color palette that's dedicated to creating points lines and arcs I'm gonna left click on that and why don't we change the color to green that looks good. So now any line point or arc that I create is going to be created green. Let's head over here to arc. That looks good. And I'm going to make the diameter a little bigger. How about a quarter inch? And by the way, anytime there's a numeric field within 1CNC, you can always type in a formula. So for example, I could type in 1 divided by 4. Once I have the formula in there, just simply hit the equal sign. This holds true for any numeric field within 1CNC. It could be inside a geometry or manufacturer. It makes no difference. You can use parentheses, multiplication, subtraction, and so on. Okay, so let's get back to incremental input. Now on your screen, your system probably looks like this, where you've got your absolute input, which is right over here. There's your X chord, Y chord, Z chord, that's for absolute input. To get to incremental input, you want to click on this little incremental button. Once you do that, it's going to expand your tool set, and here's your values or fields for typing in your X ink, Y ink, and Z ink. If you want to hide these, just click on the ink button again. Okay, so for our first circles, let's make these minus 0.5 in X and how about minus 0.5 in Y that looks good and as soon as I move my cursor on the screen you can see that the circle is now referenced off of my cursor location at X minus 0.5 Y minus 0.5 so now it's easy I just come down and I can reference off of existing geometry we can also datum snap grid snap you can even type in coordinate information if you want right now but I'm simply just gonna left click there at the edge of that line. Let's make another circle here. I'm going to grab the midpoint by left clicking and let's grab the very center of that arc. Wait till we see that diamond left click and there you go. There's some circles created incrementally off of existing geometry. Let's move the cursor up here. Let's change the X value to positive 0.5 and simply just move my cursor over into the drawing area. I'm going to grab the arc center. Again I'm going to grab the center of that line. Let's pan over just a little bit and let's grab the very end point down there. Okay, so it's very, very easy to create geometry using incremental coordinate input. You'll notice that points have the incremental button that can be expanded. You also have the same thing inside of lines. You've got the incremental button and the same thing inside of arcs. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.